Welcome back, YouTubers, to another episode of New Make Edition Gaiden. Today, we're going to be talking to Kurt Kiefer, who is uh, a comic book binder person. He binds his own books, and we're going to look at his collection. Kirk, how did you get started on this? Where did this all begin? Um, well, I used to have a big legal filing cabinet full of floppies, um, but I always preferred trades, and I stumbled across a picture of, of a bound book online one day and started digging into what all it involved, and it just kind of snowballed from there. So most of these books were just in a filing cabinet at one point and I never read them because you know it's much easier to glance at a bookshelf and see oh I want to read this and grab it or browse through it versus going through a filing cabinet. So obviously these are the ones you bound also mixed in with some of the ones some that of these are, are trades, released. Yeah. yeah. So probably like most of us that are trade waiters or trade collectors get tired of waiting around for some of these books to come out. Or some of these books come out and they're just disappointing. Example, <laughs> Nightfall Volume 1, which is, this is your own binding, I assume. Yeah. Yep. You collected sort of Asriel in this, correct? I did. Which is the way that it should be done, if you want to show us yeah, a little bit sure. of this. So... Because the original ones, the original trades did not have sort of Asriel. The newer trades did not have a sort of Asriel. So, I also kept the, the fold out. So you can still uh, have that. Cool. Um, and then, of course, the newly announced Omnibus will also not have the sort of Asriel right. trait. Right. But, you know, so it'll... Because from that, you've got Vengeance of Bane and then all of the lead-in issues that will allegedly be in the new, uh, new Omnibus. We'll see. Um, it is DC, after all. Well, the other thing, too, is... We'll see if they fix it, but every Nightfall release puts the Shadow of the Bat issues in the wrong spot. So, I noticed that, too. So I've yeah. got those in the right spot, um, so they're not in, right in the middle of another storyline. So uh, binding your own books gives you the ability to put the books where they're supposed to be in order that they should be in. Or not necessarily should, but whatever order you want them to be in. Right. Um, because some stuff, there's not, you know, a right or wrong order in the same way there might be for, for something like this. But, yeah, so, like, I used I used the new trades as a start. Mm -hmm. That's what these are from. And then just added stuff to them and rearranged stuff. Well, like, you also have, of course, the Dark Knight collections, right? These are mm -hmm. single standalone issues. Yep. Did you map these out yourself? Well, with Legends of the Dark Knight... There's not a whole lot of mapping involved since they're they're just kind of right. It's was, just an anthology title. That was probably but, a bad example, but, but like with like Batman, this. right? Yeah. So you had a lonely place of dying, which introduces uh, Tim Drake. So right. That's at one point later. That's probably around too. there. Yeah. This, um, so this is all the Jason Todd stuff. Um, spoilers. So. Yeah, yeah. Those of you who don't know, he dies. Don't worry. He came. He comes back. Oh no, no! I paid my seventy-five cents to kill him. Believe me. Um. So yeah. So this is um. Just that, as it says, the Jason Todd era. Um. So it's all the stuff with Jason in it, and around that period, um. Ten Nights of the Beast. So you yeah. started this because you had a bunch of issues laying around mm -hmm. and you wanted to start collecting them into a format that you can look at the shelf and be like, okay, you know what? Today I'm going to read Detective Comics. Or yeah, Batman I mean... How, what, what was your very first... Let's go back to that. What was the very first book that you were like, okay, I need to bind this? Um, well, when I it wasn't so much what I needed to bind, but I wanted to bind something that... If I screwed it up or didn't like it, I wouldn't have a hard time finding the the issues again. Mm -hmm. um, and this was a few years ago, but I did the uh, Kelly Jones, Doug Moink, uh run of Batman. This is uh, post Nightfall, post, right? Because um, you can find those issues for for cheap, basically. Um, but yeah, it was just I never. I never read the the stuff that was that was filed away, uh, and on top of that, it just took up a bunch of space. You know, once you 
if you take a stack of comics that you have in bags and boards and remove all the bags and boards, you'll be amazed how <laughs> how much space you save just from that alone. Um, so yeah, it's it's a space saver. It looks better. It's easier to read. Yeah, and then of course you have the absolute editions down there. Which yeah, I did not. I, so I just when it. you did this, when you did mm -hmm. the Batman book, yeah, what made you say, okay, you know what, that's a good idea. I want to keep going because um, I know how yeah. my mentality is. I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do Batman. I'm gonna do all of Batman post crisis. Well, I had, I mean, I had most of that stuff anyway. Um, so it started off as just binding what I already owned, and then from there, it turned into uh, binding stuff that I did not have. That jeez, I thought I would want to read. So. This is what's called a money shot. <laughs> Some of this stuff, like um, when JSA was announced. They were leaving out the. We, you and I talked about this. Uh, the first five issues, mm -hmm. um, and then there was a petition for DC to put those issues in there because right. they wanted to do just concentrate on Jeff Johns' run instead of having those um, first five issues that sets up the run. So it feels like that's what happened with uh, Teen Titans, right? Yes. But Teen they, Titans. There, they wanted there to was do... no petition to fix it. <laughs> right. So the first two are wonderful tr uh, omnibuses. The but they. Wanted to focus on Perez, right? And then came Omnibus Volume 3, which left out A Lonely Place of Dying. And well, it included like two parts of it. Oh, man. And it also left out, what, like 20 issues or so oh, of the run? There's years worth of, of gaps. So. so you decided, you know what? I'm going to do my own. Yes. And that's where these come in. So yes. this would be a Volume 3 that fixed this Volume 3, I assume, exactly. right? Yeah. And you went all through Perez, past Perez. Post Perez, all the way till they became the Teen Titans, and this is all in chronological order. Yep. Then the Teen Titans, and then Titans again, and then Graduation Day happened, killed off the Titan. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was Young Justice. Yeah, well, both of them. These were running concurrently. Oh, okay. so oh, that's right. So yeah. this was the Dan Jurgens run that that happened that doesn't really have any of these Titans in it um, for the most part. But what I did with this was I mixed that Jurgens run with stories um like there was an arsenal there were some arsenal one shot type deals yeah. um just other stories with with donna and so those titans you, so you map that out yourself though, yes right? yeah so if you finish i love this your titans, I, I love your spines by the way your spines look amazing on well them. i just matched the official ones, it, it's still have you seen the marvel and dc spines sometimes yeah. i mean we don't need to talk about how different sometimes <laughs> they look the uh, official ones they go from that logo to this logo, right. or Marvel's, like, or Dark Horse. Uh, yeah. But I love that you have the capability of keeping the spines looking the same. And they look wonderful. I mean, Thanks. look at that Titans, man. Um, but, yeah, so... So then this was Peter David's wrong on Young Justice. Mm -hmm. And Todd Knock, man, he, he knocked that out of the park. Because I remember yeah. he drew just about every issue. Uh, leading up to the Jeff Johns, Teen Titans, which left out some issues like the Gail Simone and Rob Liefeld issues. Right. Um, and then some issues between 45 and 50, I believe. Because I know he did uh, like a little part of the issue. Yeah, comes back. But yeah. So you fixed that in with that volume, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Volume 2. Yeah, and then just threw them in there. Outsiders. Yeah, so Outsiders and Teen Titans were concurrent as well. Um, so let's get down to here. What's down here? Some more. Okay, so, so that's the Justice League that James Robinson did, right? Mm -hmm. This this is the one. So you also designed the fronts and the backs of these. Yeah, the whole whole thing. Man, that's great. Do you also do things like uh, table of contents? Yes. Do you, um, can you show us some or let's one? Find a good one. Uh, oh, so, yeah. Literally, I can spend here all day filming this stuff because it's just amazing. <laughs> it's this is seriously a labor of love. Like I assume that's all the Cassandra Kane. So yeah, these are the Cassandra Kane run, and then that Stephanie Brown. Man. So. And then of course Chuck Austin's uh, Birds of Prey. Uh, Chuck Dixon. Oh, God. I can't believe I just said mm. that Chuck Austin. There is no Chuck Austin in this. I just lost in, in all, all, shells. all credibility. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's check uh, this like out. There's a table of contents. Page. So you designed that yourself. Yeah, nothing too fancy, but... No, but that looks idea. really wicked. Um, How do I say it? That looks legit. <laughs> Have you ever tried to get a job? Okay, so Marvel has some pretty good guys that are mapping out their stuff, with, you know, a few exceptions of uh, omnibuses that were... They were map correct, or at least they have everything, but 
I wish the reading order had been different. For example, the mm-hmm. War of the Kings omnibus, right? Right. Like that, the separated the stories by miniseries, and I kind of took away from the main story. There doesn't seem to be a person at DC that does that. Yeah. I mean, would you agree yeah. with that? Uh, you know, I'm not. Sh- I, I would have agreed with it um, before. You know, like the last six months, maybe. Like, I feel like looking at some of the contents of like the new um, Chuck Dixon Robin trades or the uh, Mark Wade Flash, where they actually included a story from uh, Justice League Quarterly. Like, there's little, That's like, right. really kind of somewhat obscure, not just the main title stuff. That there's there's clearly someone there now that's making a little bit of an effort to to be more uh, inclusive as far as contents go, but, um, but yeah, they've, they've, they've definitely come a long way, but still, still always room for improvement. Uh, yeah, we just talked about the new, really resolicited, uh, Batman Nightfall. Right, yeah. Not, <laughs> Which not leaves out... Still doesn't include Sword of Azrael. Sword of so. Azrael, right. And, so. but, and even though they released the Sword of Azrael trade to include the Sword of Azrael ongoing series, which makes absolutely no sense. Right, yeah. No, it doesn't make any sense to read Sword of Azrael and then jump post-Nightfall without even, like, a little summary page or anything. You have no idea what happened. But, uh, so you were mentioning earlier, like this is some of your earlier stuff that you started doing. Yeah, this was back. one of the first ones. This was more recent, um, but but yeah, this was this was a really early one. Some of these Robin ones. Now you have read all these. I I have read I've read all these Robin ones. Yes, mm-hmm. I've not read all of my Superman ones yet. I mean, I read them as a kid, but I've not read them since I found them. All right. Oh man, look there. There's that Aquaman, that Peter David Aquaman run that. Mm-hmm. For some reason, gets no love. Uh, you know, I'm, like, I, why I'm surprised they haven't, they haven't done it. Yeah. Cl- that was such a great run. Yeah, sure. But not the guy that there lost are that his... many great Aquaman runs either. You so. know what? When the movie comes out, an old dude loses his hand. Right. Like, that's, that's when, that's that's it. Yeah, that's when they get the Peter happened, yeah. Man, look at that spine. That is beautiful. I wish the big two would do something like this with their books. Somebody map the books ahead of time and say, you know what? We could put all the X-Men on the spine right. if we map it like this. Because, I mean, honestly, I mean, they're all over the place. Look at the... That's a... That's a... That's a release. That is a DC release book that just has, like, the big S kind of logo on it. <laughs> they kind of threw together, I'm sure, at the last minute. But your spines... I mean, look at that Jeff Johns, man. That's beautiful. Now, this includes the Jeff Johns and Robinson arc, I assume? Yes. From uh, post-Infinite Crisis? Yeah, so this is kind of Jeff Johns stuff, and then this is all of the Legion-centric stories. So, like, uh, Legion of Three Worlds, and then that Legion of Superheroes arc, and uh, the Lightning Saga, and then this is all the new Krypton. So, Uh, are you a big fan of uh, Ostrander? Oh, yeah. Is that why you did the Wasteland? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Wasteland got Spectre. Yeah, I saw the Spectre and Suicide Squad up there. Got impatient for that Wonder Woman, huh? It was before, yeah. It was yeah. Before they, well, and mine has Action 600, unlike the official. Unlike one. the official. So, <laughs> so yeah, this, I'm still well, holding on to it. What about uh, War of the Gods? Does yeah, that... I've got I've got all those. And yeah, just not a... the whole crossover, but just <laughs> That's the thing that issues. annoyed me about the, the omnibuses that did not have that crossover. Or at well, least they aren't the... there yet. Because they, oh, that's right. It takes it's, it's, it's towards sh- the very end of the run. Right. Which, which I they, guess they I don't are. even know if they'll do a third one, right? Right. Who knows? Because that's... You know, um, I was a big fan of uh, Loeb's. What was William Messner Loeb's, mm-hmm. I think? That's what uh, introduced me to uh, Mike Del Tato's artwork, too. Of course, back then, he was... I'm sure you have it here. Yep. Back then, his artwork was a lot of, like, uh, Jim Lee's art. Oh, that's, that's right, and Bolin, Bolin yeah. did the, <laughs> the covers. Yeah. But Del Tato's artwork was very Jim Lee-ish well, and at the time. They, and they put out traits, but it was just the issues that he drew, rather than like yeah. the whole Mesder Loeb stuff. So. And yeah. that is still, this one here, the Greg Rucka, that's yeah. still my favorite Wonder Woman run. Yeah, I love I that agree. run. Have you done anything else? Like, I know you've done stuff for people, but have you done any independent stuff for yourself that you... Because usually, image and 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, Vertigo usually does things. Exactly. Like, that's, they that's, release the books. Right. I mean, I've, I've done stuff for other people, but, I mean, as far as my own pace, for the most part, whatever I've wanted to read has been... Uh, there's been a decent collected version of it, so most of my binds are... Uh, you know, the superhero stuff. but And that's also because, you know, superhero stuff tends to be more, uh, what sort I'm looking for? Malleable in terms of what content you would want to include and what order, whereas indie stuff, you know, it's one book, it's one title, and it starts with number one and it goes through number whatever, so there's not a whole lot of right. mapping you have to do Where to worry about. Where Superman and Flash do not have a definitive ending. Right. So you can see something like Saga or Walking Dead. Well, maybe Walking Dead. I don't know. That's still a cash cow for the uh, image. So, on to the Marvel stuff. It looks like you're lacking some uh, <laughs> original yeah, there's collections just one, here, just, huh? Just one bind on the Marvel. So what made you decide to do this one? Can, can we see it? Yeah. Um, this one looks a little different than the others, not only because it's got a Marvel logo, but also because you decided to put a dust jacket on it. Yeah, I tried to make it as as much like, like one of these Omnis as I could. Did a different cover. Oh, that's versus, nice. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, I just really liked the run, and there were no, and still no, plans for any sort of hardcover for it, just trades. Um, looks like you got it autographed, too, huh? Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, this was a run I really liked. I wasn't a big fan of the Brian Reed stuff, but I did like her her run and take on uh, Captain Marvel, or Miss Marvel as she was at the time. Right. Yeah, um, I'm just surprised that it hasn't gotten anything but, but trade collections, but well, I guess we knows? have to wait for the movie. Wait for those movies, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> Um, well, thank you very much, man, for uh, showing us your collection. Again, this no hardly does this any justice.